Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my first tutorial on FreeCAD. Today I'm going to show you how to create this particular 3D model in front of us. Uh, and so without further ado, let's jump into it. We are going to click on Part Design on this drop down button at the top here. We're then going to click on the New tab up here. And this brings us into this brand new window for us to start designing our 3D model. So now I'm going to click on the sketch icon which brings this we are then going to click on the trimetric view XY plane here which is also the top plane on here so this is the bottom so it's going to look like this click OK so now we are provided with this uh, grid reference and we're going to click on the rectangle icon up here and we're just going to draw a rough rectangle like so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this icon up here which is the creating a corner fillet so we're now going to click on that and we're going to click on corner 1, corner 2, corner 3 and corner 4. We're going to right click, that removes us from anything we want to do. So if I was to click on rectangle and click right, right click, it would then remove me from that particular task. So now I want to do is, is constrain these corners to a 14 millimeter radius. So I'm going to click on the corner and then going to click on this icon up here, which will then allow me to do a radius. I'm going to set that radius to 14 millimeters. So a radius is half the circle uh, from the center to the outside of the circle. Uh, diameter would be 28 of that circle. And now we're going to do exactly the same to these corners. We only need to do it for three corners as this one self constrains itself in a second. So now I'm going to constrain uh, the overall size, the width, and the length of this particular. Um, rectangle. So I'm going to click on the uh, point on the left hand side and the point on the right hand side which I just didn't cancel. So right hand side and left hand side. Left hand side. <laughs> then I'm going to click on the horizontal distance and I'm going to set that to 88 millimeters. I'm then going to click on this top uh, point up here and this bottom point down here and I'm going to do the vertical constraint which is going to be 90 millimeters. So we've got it all constrained uh, in terms of uh, size. This should hopefully constrain in a second, which it will. And now I want to constrain it to the center. So I'm going to click these two points again. I'm going to click the center point, which glows yellow and then green when you click it. And I'm going to click the equal sign here, which then equally uh, measures out. So there's 44 on this side and 44 on this side. I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to click on these two points, the center line here, and I'm going to equal that. So now it is completely constrained, which is why it is glowing a nice green. And I'm going to close that down now, zoom out, and there we go. That's our complete, complete sketch. So that's the that's the base complete of the sketch. Now what we're going to do is extrude it by clicking on the extrude button up here, and I'm going to extrude that by 11 millimeters, like so. So now we've got our first piece done. That is the first piece done at the bottom. So now I want to uh, add on the extrusion on top, which was a circular piece of extrusion. So I'm going to click on the top face and I'm going to click on the sketch icon again, which is now going to bring me into this field. So anything I sketch on here will be on the top. It won't be on the bottom, it'll be on top. It's like so. So I'm then going to click on the circle sketch on here. Do a rough rough circle making sure that it's in the center because it will it will highlight yellow when you hover over it um, and you know that the circle is now spot on in the center. You then click on the outside of the circle and click on radius again and we're going to set the radius of that to 18 millimeters like so. So again it's growing glowing uh, green and it is fully constrained. So click close again and extrude that to 31 millimeters, like so. So I'm just going to adjust this so it's a little bit more in the screen, like so. Right. Now, what I need to do is I'm going to cut out. Uh, so I'm going to click on top of this piece uh, again. Click on the sketch icon button. Draw another circle. Radius that to uh, nine seven millimeters and I'm going to extrude that through. So this is what this icon is here, to pocket the uh, selected piece. So click pocket, 
and it'll bring up a menu here and we want to go through all with that and click OK and that will take the whole all the way through the piece that we've just created as well. Okay, so now we want to create the four uh, four holes on the corners. So clicking on that base face and clicking the sketch icon, we are now going to draw ourselves some rough circles like so. The radius of these particular circles need to be uh, eight millimeters, and this is just uh, a countable for the particular um, piece. So that's 8mm on all of those. Uh, these need to be 31mm from the centre, so clicking on that centre line there, you can do it like so and have a vertical line like that, or you can just click on the centre of the circle and click on the vertical line and it does it automatically anyway. So we'll set those to 31mm, like so, minus 31mm, uh, sorry. Uh, and again, same with these ones. These are 31 millimeters, though, as it's on the positive side of the of the line. And we want them to be 30 millimeters away from the center, like so. Oh, no, that's a minus. Sorry, not a plus. And the same for these. So I'm just do those. And last one, like so. Now this is fully constrained again. So we're going to click close, and we're going to pocket these by six millimeters, like so. So now we've got ourselves this looking shape here. But it's not finished yet, it's still got a little bit to go. So what I'm going to do now is click on the bottom face, like so. Click on sketch again, and I'm going to click on the circular icon again in the center, click on the circle itself, radius tool, I'm going to set that to a radius of 16 millimeters, close, uh, you can bring it to a better view so you can see it a bit better, click on the pocket button, this time the pocket's going up, you can also reverse and it'll do it the other way but we don't want it reversed, we want it going into the actual job itself and that's going to be going 8 millimeters into the into the job, so there's that so far, right so now what we want to do is again click on the inside of the circle now, click on the sketch button and what we're going to do is now is create uh, the holes going through the center of these. So just some rough sketch again on the insides of these circles and we can constrain those to the center. We can also use this lock icon here which locks it completely so you know that they are as they are. You can set that to that and again like so. This is just a quicker way um, of doing it again. It's all about whatever's comfortable for you. I uh, don't want that 90, want that 30. And the same with this particular one here. Just set that to 30. And that one to minus 31. Constrain. Oh, wrong again. Well done. Minus 31. And minus 30. Okay, and we're going to set the radius to these to 4 mil on all of them. So 4 mil again, 4 mil again, and 4 mil again. So now they are fully constrained. Close, and we're going to pocket those just for all, just say for all. It's a lot easier than working out a dimension. Okay, right. So now everything is completely pocketed. Uh, everything is ready now to be filleted and um, finished off basically, the shape is ready to be finished off. So what I'm going to do is click on any line here, so if I was to go on trimetric view, I'll click on this line here, and I'm going to click on the fillet icon up here, and that will fill it the entire way around the edge here. Now I've got to change this to 3mm, and click OK, so now that is fully filleted. I'm then going to click on the line centre here, you know it's uh, highlighted because it will highlight yellow. If it's hard to click on, sometimes it's easier to zoom in and click on it like so. And then click on the fillet button again, and I'm going to set that to 5mm. Enter. And then I'm going to fillet the inside here by 3mm again, like so. 
and there we have it. It is completely uh, filleted now on the inside of the hole, on the pocket here, uh, on the sides around the extrusion here, and around the side of the actual shape itself. So now I'm going to put that into standard view to fill. And I'm just going to change the color of it. So I'm going to go to view, appearance. I'm going to change the default to, we'll go for shiny plastic, which then changes the uh, general overview of it. And I want it on a green selector like so. Click OK and close. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, and that is fully completed. Uh, that is all for this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, leave a comment to let me know how I can improve next time on my uh, on my video editing skills and or uh, actual talking skills. It's quite hard actually talking to yourself in a room uh, to a microphone. I've never realised it'd be this hard, but yes. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.